You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host, and, and I have a fan favorite here. I have Lynn Smith, who is going to talk, not Frederick Douglass, not OCES, but holiday parade, the day before the holiday parade, uh, with snow in the air. Well, you know, somebody, Mark, it's so funny, said to me, this is my, my punishment for talking about Christmas too soon, is that it's going to snow. <laughs> but I said, let the tinsel roll. As long as it doesn't snow on parade day. Oh, I or know. Or on Thanksgiving day. We got, we got a couple of events to get through. And, and we want it to be nice. We want to, I'd love to see Brockton win that football game I this know. year. Okay? Forearm and Colombo. I know. Wouldn't okay. that be wonderful? Okay, we're we're planning some special video during the parade. We we have him at a Super Bowl. We have footage mm -hmm. that people haven't seen for a long time, and we're working with Bridgewater Television oh, to cover that. Um, and then two days later, we'll be at Parade Central on Main Street, and it's always nice when the weather is good and it's not freezing out or it's misty or sleety or anything like that because everyone from Brockton comes out to that parade. You know, and it's, it's so fun when you actually go to the parade. There's nothing like going and seeing the faces of the little kiddos lined up on the sidewalk. And of course, there's always two or three of them that buy those plastic horns. And once you hear those plastic I don't know what they're called, Zuzus or whatever they're called. You know you're at a parade. So we're really looking forward to it. And I'm just here as a volunteer with USA Christmas Town. Um, you know John Marion and his elves are the ones who do all of the work getting the parade every single year uh, in Brockton. We start off, we kind of warm up the season the Friday night before the parade. So Friday night the 23rd mm -hmm. at 6 o'clock at the War Memorial Building, which is at 156 West Elm Street, we have an evening with James Edgar. And you know that James Edgar ran a department store in Brockton in the late 1800s. He was a wonderful boss and he was a wonderful marketer. He loved advertising mm -hmm. and he loved dressing up. He dressed up as George Washington, he dressed up as Uncle Sam to attract folks to come to his store. Did Freddie borrow all those costumes? I think Freddie from him? has all of those costumes I think so. that he I think uses. So. And so one year in 1890, James Edgar decided to have a Santa Claus suit made so that the children in Brockton could come to the store and have the experience of seeing Santa. Now we know that it's really Santa's helpers that do that. But for the first time, there was a department store Santa. So before Macy's, before Gimbel's, it happened first in Brockton. So that Friday night in the War Memorial Auditorium, starting at 6 o'clock, we have a wonderful program to tell that story. We start off with the Brockton Symphony Brass Quintet, mm -hmm. and they play some holiday music. And we're so lucky to have the Brockton High School Concert Choir under the direction of Matt Cunningham. And they do some singing and they also lead us in a sing-along. Maya Carpenter comes and reads The Night Before Christmas and we put the pages of the book up on the wall in a PowerPoint mm -hmm. so that the kiddos can follow along. And then James Edgar himself comes and tells his story to all of the children mm. during the event. So they get a little bit excited when they hear that story and they have their magical candy canes that are attached to the story. You know, John Marion has worked all his life and has written a wonderful biography of James Edgar, so we adapted it slightly to fit children. The program is designed maybe for kindergarten through grade three, it's free, but it's great for chil children of all ages. You know, we keep it a little short because the attention span. Absolutely, and there are a few elves walking around there, all the Santa's we have helpers. Santa's helpers there, and we have a great helper this year. Rockland Trust is sponsoring um, the event this year. So we have a lot of helpers. Um, Rotary Club of Brockton comes and helps. Come of, some of my friends from Keith Park Neighborhood Association come to run the audiovisual and hand out the candy canes. We'll decorate the auditorium a little bit to get into the spirit. So that's 
the Friday night before the parade, and then the next day, Saturday, there's a whole day of events. Mm -hmm. It starts early in the night, like 9 in the morning. There's events, I think there are pictures with Santa at John Mary. City Marion's. Hall. Oh, City Hall. Yep. I know there's a whole craft fair at City Hall, yep. right? Yep, there's, there's um, all of the details are at usachristmastown.org. Okay. So starting early that Saturday morning, there's free photos with Santa, and it's right on the ground level of City Hall. Okay. And then there's that wonderful holiday craft fair that goes from like 10 o'clock until 4 o'clock, so you can get a head start on your holiday um, shopping. And then the parade itself steps off at 1 o'clock. Right. And I know you cover it. Does it last until about 3, 4 o'clock? Um, it goes various lengths depending on the year, depending on how many bands are in it and mm -hmm. kids are in it and communities. The, the best part of that, I mean, I love the music from all the different bands. I, I love that there's a cheerleading group that LaRonda Campbell and her group does, and they perform in front of the garage where the judges oh, are. We won't tell. Yeah. I, 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 I know a couple of the judges, but we don't want them to have any undue influence, okay? Uh -huh. um, and we're right out there, right in front of the courthouse. Um, we have... Um, you know, between all the elves, but we also have like city councilors that direct mm -hmm. traffic. Moses mm -hmm. Rodriguez every year is out there with his little bullhorn, you know, making sure they stop in front of us because we want them to perform. We want the bands to stop playing when they're in front of the judges or in front of the cable truck. And then it, 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 it goes down and they've changed it up because when they do the winter's ball, instead of giving the awards at the end of the parade like they used to do years ago at City Hall, they go back to the War Memorial and they have the mm -hmm. Winter's Ball and they give out the Ed, the James Edgar Award. We're not going to tell you who the Grand Marshal is or who's getting the no. James Edgar Award because it's great to watch it on cable. We like to have it for a whole month on TV, but you're better off going there because you can hear, hear everything and see everything. And if you're not in the parade in Brockton, you're on the sidelines watching mm -hmm. it or your kids in it or your grandkids in it. Um, we have families, you know, people that uh, work for us. They bring the whole family on, on the crew. I have people that used to work for me that come back and, 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 and do that event. And I've been doing every parade since 94, a, a long time. It's, it's, it's just, it's nice to see Brockton so festive and so positive with everybody with smiles on their yeah. faces. And it, it really is for the kids. It is. I think this is the 32nd year of the parade. And you know, we have wonderful sponsorship from Good Samaritan Medical Center, from Tuxedos by Marion, from the city of Brockton. There's a program book that will have the art contest winner in it right. and the essay contest winners in it and all of the wonderful companies that buy advertising in the book to offset the cost of the parade. And you know what? I go every year, too. People say, oh, it's hard to park. It's hard. It isn't. No. It's easy to find a place to park. It's easy to walk and sit on Main Street. And it's just so much fun. And the floats this year, you know, there's prizes for the floats. So if you have your cell phone, you can vote the float. Oh, you can cool. go to hashtag USA Christmas Town and you can vote the float. 1500 for the best 1,000 for second, 500 for third. So cool. some of those floats are going to be pretty awesome. And I've been waiting for a pony all my life. The Clydesdales are coming. Sounds like a plan. I can't wait for that because they are impressive. Yeah. They are impressive. So I got the cue. So we're done, believe it or not. Great. Lynn, thank you as always for being as involved in the community. You're into everything in a very positive way, and I thank you for coming on. Thanks. We'll see you the 23rd and the 24th for a lot of fun. Perfect. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.